everyone, it's Angeline here. So the long requested makeup tutorial is finally here and I know you guys have been wanting this for a really long time and yeah, I am finally filming it. So I have three things to say. One, my makeup brushes are really cheap. Um, I got some of them at like Walmart or TJ Maxx and stuff like that and they work But I'm also looking into buying a set of Morphe brushes soon And secondly this white thing on my neck right here is because it's like one of those icy hot things because I like Somehow hurt my neck in my sleep and now it like hurts to turn this way and thirdly if you um, notice in the close-up shots of my face, you might see these little white dots like around my eyes those are called milia and they're basically like um, whiteheads, but they're trapped under skin, so they um, that's why they are whitish and have there's like little bumps everywhere. It is caused by using oils around eyes, so that can be um, makeup or lotions and creams and moisturizers and stuff like that. And also, it can be a result of poor exfoliation. Which, since I have dry skin already, I haven't really exfoliated my face all that much because I want to keep my oils on my face. Today, I am doing a rose gold mauvey type of look for you guys. Or not mauve, maroon. I keep saying mauve, but it's not mauve, it's maroon. This is my first makeup tutorial. I'm so excited to um, show you guys how I got this look. I hope to do more tutorials like this in the future, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more. And yeah, now without further ado, let's get started. This is my first makeup tutorial, if you guys didn't know. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. So first off, I've already moisturized my face and everything, and I've also done my eyebrows. A lot of you have commented about my eyebrows, like asking how I do them and stuff like that, and I know they look really crazy right now because they're like super dark. If you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, um, you can let me know in the comments and I can post a video about that. But honestly, all I use is Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. And I literally was just doing my eyebrows earlier and I have no idea where I put the cap to this. To do them, I use this angled brush from Sephora. Let's go ahead and get started. I am someone that really likes to do my foundation after my eye makeup because I feel like sometimes I get fallout and stuff like that and it's just easier for me to just cover that up with foundation later. So first off, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Then my eyeshadow will stick. I also recently bought Urban Decay's um, Potion Primer, whatever it's called, um, but I haven't used it yet. I'm just now getting over a sty, so this eye might look a little bit swollen to you guys. I look like crazy right now. Like, look really crazy. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes before I get started just because I don't wanna mess up my eyeshadow later. So, so I recently got a new Coastal Scents palette. I'm so excited about this because I got to choose all my pans. So first off, ooh, I just stuck my finger in eyeshadow. That's fun. First off, I am starting off with, let's see, this shade right here called Barista. And I'm going to take this on a fluffy crease, crease, crease brush that I got from like Walmart for three dollars and I'm going to put this in my crease and just blend that in really well This brush is kind of trash. Um, if you want to get like a, a winged out kind of look or like an angled look You can take like the end of like a tube of makeup or something and Blend towards that and just kind of get the product lined up with the edge of that so that way you have kind of a clean line right there it's So hard to get my eyes to match I swear That is what I'm doing for my crease. I know it looks crazy, it'll get better. I'm gonna take this kind of domed brush. I really don't know, because these brushes don't have names. Since we are doing like a rose gold look today, I think I'm going to take this color right here called Fine Wine, and just take a little bit of that onto this brush. I don't know how dark this is gonna be because I haven't used this eyeshadow before. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, it's just like a pretty purple color. So I'm just gonna put that in my crease very lightly kind of outline where I want it and then I'm going to take a blending brush and blend it just because if there is excess product on my brush like I forgot to tap it off but um like I don't want to keep smearing it around if this is all the product I want on my eye if you're wondering this is the LA girl pro conceal um I use this for contouring this is why it's so dark so now we are going to do um my lip color I'm going to start with my inner corner I'm going to take this um, light pink right here on the inner corners of my eyes and by using a patting motion it'll help reduce fallout because if you were to swipe it around everything would fly everywhere and I'm bringing 
it up into a little bit of my crease so it's overlapping just a tad so that way it really opens up the inner corners of my eyes just because I have close set eyes and I really want to draw my eyes outwards the pink shade I just used was called light pink and then the shade I'm about to use right now is white silver so this is white silver I'm gonna take a little bit of this white silver and put this in the tear duct concentrating in my tear duct and not necessarily on like the inner part of my eye like inner lid having an even lighter color where we want like the lightest color to be so we've got this kind of it's kind of frosty a little bit blue toned I want to stick with the rose gold so I'm going to go in and take this color right here which is called peach silver so this is right here I'm gonna pat this onto my eye kind of overlapping a little bit with that original um, light pink color that we applied so that way it's blended looking. So I'm going to take this bright copper right here, pick that onto my brush, and pat that onto the kind of uh, outer corner right here. And actually I really like how that looks, so I'm going to blend that towards the inner corner a little bit more so that way I have a little bit more attention on this bright copper shade. And there's that. So I want to add a little bit more dimension and get my eyes a little bit darker, so I'm going to take that original dome brush that I had just used. So this right here, Maroon Berry, I'm going to take some of this onto this domed brush, pop off the excess a little bit, and then go into the outer V and just kind of focus this in. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and blend that. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lower eyes. A lot of people do this after they apply foundation if they do foundation last. But again, I want to avoid fallout and I probably just won't go all the way up. I'm pretty good. I've gotten pretty good at avoiding my eyeshadow when I do my foundation now. So I'm going to take this dark maroon berry color again, right here, and smoke this down to the underneath of my eyes. And I really have to raise my eyebrows so I don't get this everywhere. And this really brings the look together, like makes everything just match so well. And now I'm going to take an angled brush. This is by e.l.f. I think. And I'm going to take, whoa. I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette, oh gosh, I am such a mess. I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and black out right here on my brush and line my eyes with this. I personally don't like how like um, liquid winged liner looks on me. I just feel like my eyes and my lid space is too limited to do like a bold eyeliner. I like to hug my lash line with this black eyeshadow because of my eye shape. So I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner right now. So there's not a huge difference, but there's definitely more definition in my eyes. I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of a tail. Now that I'm done with my top lid liner, I'm going to take the black whatever's left on this angled brush and go under my eyes. I'm going to concentrate this black color on the outer underneath of my eyes. Ooh. So sometimes I will throw on a pair of fake lashes, however today I guess we will just stick to mascara. So um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation first before I do my mascara. So I've got my damp beauty blender and I'm going to first prime actually. The primer I'm using is by Marc Jacobs, this is the like invisible, yeah, invisible coconut water primer or whatever. And I just use my fingers to put this on, I know some people like using beauty blenders and stuff. But for this, I feel like my beauty blender just absorbs too much of it. Then I'm using my Dior Air Flash in the color sand, I think. Oh, there's no names. Um, 301. And I don't like to apply a lot of foundation, so I will usually only do a tiny bit, like that much, and apply that under one eye. I like to work in segments. A tiny little bit more, and I don't apply concealer because I feel like I don't really need it. I don't like going for the really light under eyes look just because um, a lot of it like needs a lot of heavy product to make that look like concealer, which is a thicker product, um, and thicker products tend to dry out my skin. I don't really like to apply a lot of foundation around here because I have eczema and it kind of can make it irritated and bring it back up again even though it's not very visible right now. Now I'm going to contour. Usually I use my Anastasia um, contour palette. Oh, it's right here. Usually I use 
this color right here as you can see it has gotten a lot of love i really like that color but i just got the hula bronzer yesterday and i have not tried this yet i know everybody talks about this so i'm going to try it out today um the color looks fairly similar to the anastasia one that i've really been loving so i'm just gonna use this So I just filmed my nose contour but I didn't like how it came out so we're going to redo it. I'm going to take this brush, it's clean now, and pick up a tiny bit of this grayer tone in the middle that I really like. I just like to do a little bit. And then I add a tiny bit to the center right here. And then I'll also go in a tiny bit on the bottom of my nose. And if it ever gets too dark, I'll go in with my beauty blender, especially on the sides just to make sure the color is where I want it to be. So I just got this new hourglass highlighter. I got a small size. I don't know if this is a travel size or not. I'm going to take a highlighting brush. I don't have a fan brush right now. I have to use this. This is from TJ Maxx. I just bought it because it was the closest to a fan brush I could find. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to highlight my cheekbones first. So I'm going to take just a, a brush and do that. Right here. That was my phone. So I'm gonna do that to the other side first before I step the other contour since this brush is already in my hand. Um, as for this highlight powder, I feel like it's good but not super intense still. Um, so if you're wanting something that isn't super intense, this is good. Oh, maybe that hurts. Okay, so there's that. So I am back and I finished up my mascara and put on a little bit of Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. Um, let me see the color. Um, I put on this Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in the color Cosmic, like that. And then I added a tiny bit of this NYX Glam Gloss in GLG03 into the center of my lips just to add a little bit of highlight so I use these two colors however since I do have eczema I have to be really selective about how much lip gloss I use and what lip glosses I use um, I think a matte like maroon or like a dark plum shade would look so good with this look um, but yeah I can't wear mattes because those are too drying for me and this also has to come off after this video because I don't want my lips to freak out and yeah so anyways that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I really hope it wasn't too all over the place this is my first makeup tutorial so um, I'm still kind of getting the hang of things but overall I really enjoyed filming this and I definitely want to do makeup tutorials in the future so leave me a comment down below if you would like to see more and also what different color combinations would you guys like to see because I asked you guys on Instagram and you guys told me rose gold and I know this kind of turned out like a little bit more maroon I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and would like to see more of my videos and lastly all my social media sites are in the description box down below like always that is it for this video once again for like the third time I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all later bye